Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Locke. Thank you again for watching another episode of Gaffer and Gear. In today's episode, we're going to talk about CRMX status lights and what they mean. All right, so I've got three controllers here or three lights that have built in CRMX. Now, all three of these have status lights. Now, not every light that you buy that has built in CRMX will have a status light. It's about 50-50. In fact, this controller here, the status light is an aftermarket modification. It wasn't actually sold with a status light, but I got the status light put on because I got sick to death of trying to figure out what was going wrong, what mistakes I was making. All right, so just so you can see the Sierra Mix status lights, I'm going to get them to flicker. All right, so this one has a blue status light. This unit here has a red status light and this tube up here has a green status light. So the reason I selected these three items is so that you can see that the color of the status light doesn't mean anything at all. It's just the color that the light manufacturer chose to use. Now, everything's working perfectly at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink my transmitter. So what should happen now is the lights should turn off. All right, so let's talk about this status indication. No light at all. So what does that mean? Well, it could mean one of two possible things. Number one, the CRMX receiver is not turned on. So that is something you have to do in the menu system nine times out of 10, or maybe there's a button on the front, but most times it's in the menu system. It could also mean that the CRMX receiver module is actually turned on, it's just not linked to a transmitter yet. Now a quick way to figure out which of the two scenarios it is, is to hit the link button on your transmitter. Now, when you send a link command through, the light should flash momentarily. Now, at the end of flashing, one of two things will happen. It will either go to a solid light like these have now, or the light will just turn off. So if it turned off, it means it failed to link. All right, so if it failed to link, here's a few things you can do. Make sure the light is not outside of the transmission range. And if it is within transmission range and it's still not linking, just check that you're not too close to another transmitter, like say the audio department, for example. The next thing we'll talk about is a constantly flashing status light. So what does that mean? Well, it means your CRMX receiver is definitely turned on. It means that it is linked to a transmitter, but it is not receiving a CRMX signal. So what does that mean for you out on location? Well, the fact that it's flashing means that the CRMX receiver is definitely turned on, so you don't need to go through the menu system to check for that. It is linked to a transmitter, but not receiving a signal. So it could be linked to another transmitter and not to yours. So that could be a possibility if you work for a lighting company that has multiple transmitters. Maybe you rented this out to somebody and they linked it to their transmitter, for example. So just check that it is actually linked to your transmitter by sending a new link command through to it. Now, if that doesn't work, you might be out of range, okay? So make sure you're not too far away from the transmitter. It could also be a line of sight issue. So what I mean by that is you might have your transmitter, you might have your light, and they're both within range of each other, but there's a brick wall in between and the signal can't get through it. So it could be something like that. Now, if I'm getting this status warning on all of my lights, that would indicate that my transmitter has powered down. Now, the last thing it could be is antenna issues. So just check that the antenna is actually connected and not in its storage position. I've done that a few times with the Spectrums. Now, if it's a rental light, I would suggest unscrewing the antenna, assuming it's meant to unscrew, and checking that it is the correct antenna. Because there are actually two types of antennas. There are antennas that have a pin in the center and antennas that don't. And sometimes with rental gear, the antennas get changed around. Now, let's say you've got a light that just won't hold its lock. And this was a problem I had with a lot of my spectrums. All right, so get your transmitter and put it stupidly close to the receiver and see if the status light changes. If the status light does change at this point, that means the actual module inside is receiving the signal. So most likely the antenna is not connected to the CRMX module at the micro antenna port on the module itself and just needs to be reseated. Now the last status, the light is constantly on. So that means the CRMX receiver is turned on in the light. You are definitely linked to a transmitter and you are receiving a CRMX transmission. So at this point, if the light is not responding to commands, start checking for obvious stuff like maybe you've got the wrong DMX address, or I've done this a few times, I've moved the light from one position to another, 
turned it all back on, I just forgot to plug the light back into the controller. It's quite embarrassing when that happens, but seeing that the indicator light isn't flashing, I know it's not a CRMX issue and I know where to start looking. Hopefully that information was handy to you. I'm Andrew Locke. Thanks for watching Gaffer and Gear. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.